Since times are so hard My song to the poor It doth pay some regard For trade being dead I'm weaving out of hope Well, the bicentenary of Peterloo of the events in Manchester in 1819 uh, is important and um, I think raising awareness at, at this time is a good one. Um, I, I've a long time ago thought maybe someone should make a film about this and that was at a time before it ever occurred to me that I would make anything other than contemporary films uh, before we even made Topsy Turvy. Once we decided that this was worth investigating, once we started to prepare Peterloo. Almost on a daily basis we find ourselves we found ourselves saying this is very relevant on all sorts of levels. I mean it is a film about democracy, it's about people, the need for all of us to, for all of our voices to be heard and it's about the way that people are treated or maltreated or mistreated by those in power etc. And all of those things are, of course, more than relevant increasingly in this 21st century world, 200 years after Peterloo. Well, I'm always conscious of a, <laughs> a wide audience, whatever film I make, and there's absolutely every reason why a younger audience should um, see, understand, enjoy and learn from, be stimulated and motivated by the film. Well. Um, I mean, I've actually made a lot of films with epic battles and arguments going on, usually involving two or three people on a staircase in a suburban house. Um, this is the same thing on a much bigger scale. And obviously it took a great deal of time, uh, resources, money, um, planning, imagination. But above all, uh, the important thing about filmmaking, as everybody knows, is that we film directors don't make films by ourselves. It's a great collaboration of a huge number of people on both sides of the camera. Uh, very talented, hard-working, committed, intelligent uh, and uh, sophisticated folk. You know, if I was to make a film set in the 7th century, <laughs> I think it would be quite hard to kind of figure out what, how people actually talked and um, the language they used. Uh, 200 years ago is in fact um, within our collective memory uh, and certainly uh, there's a massive amount of research material of all kinds uh, available if, it's, if you go and look for it and that's what we did. Um, I think about the language is that of course you know t to create, uh, I mean there are period films that exist, there's, there's one kicking around at the moment, uh, a different one from mine, which where they've deliberately eschewed any responsibility to make period language and everybody talks in a contemporary kind of way and I think that's to slightly throw out the baby with the bathwater because in fact um, both in terms of what you see, in terms of the locations, the costumes, the, 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 the rhythm of things, the details of what people eat and the props they use and the language, if you go to great lengths to get these right then you are liberated to make the film still um, live in a three-dimensional way so that the audience can really believe in it and care about it and be motivated um, in their reactions to it. Peter Liu is about a time and an event uh, where people were motivated to get out there and express what they felt. Um, as was the case in Tiananmen Square, as was the case at Sharpville, for example. And it feels as though this kind of need to be heard is certainly brewing at this precise moment uh, on these islands. <laughs>